my name is Rachel Hiltz and I'm just going to show you how I darn in my ends so that they don't come loose. So you simply go underneath your stitches but through the fibers. I'm using a sharp needle that cuts through the fibers because I want them to all tangle together. I don't want them to lay underneath or through each other. So you bring your needle through and then Hopefully you can see this. I double back a little bit so my yarn is coming out here. I go back underneath that stitch and then through a little bit further. So I actually have a little twist there that's going around that piece of yarn. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go back through, double back just a little bit so that it wraps around. I do that usually twice so that it wraps around that one bar of yarn. And then I go back in the other direction. I don't go back in the same spot, I go back one piece of yarn over. And again, I'm poking through the fibers. I'm making sure I go right through the center of fibers. I don't want to be in underneath something, I want to be through it. And then one more time, I wrap around this piece of yarn. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. I'm going around it. And then back through. I've been doing this for a while and I do not have yarn working out of toys that get heavy play or out of clothing. And I did at one time no longer have that problem. I've washed things. I've had kids playing with them. My ends do not come out. They are nice and solid. And there you go. That is how I darn my ends. I'm the Frog Hooker. I hope you found that helpful.